Yo, Elliot! Yo, so today's question comes from my bro, that guy Spencer, he goes on to say, Yo, Elliot, what are the best exercises to combat sciatic nerve problems in the low back, glutes, and legs that you recommend? Good question, bro. So the very first thing you ought to know is that that sciatic nerve often gets uh, impinged or infringed upon, right, by a tiny muscle inside your hips, like deep inside your glute, like deep way inside here. <laughs> That's called piriformis. And the piriformis acts like a hip flexor, a tiny hip flexor deep within your glutes, right? So you think about the hip flexors, you typically, typically think like your psoas, these muscles up here, right? Everybody's like, stretch your hip flexors, stretch your hip flexors. So you're stretching this muscle here, but did you know that there's also a muscle deep in here that facilitates that, that flexion. And when you sit all day, that muscle grows shorter, tighter, thicker, it might hypertrophy, and that's when it starts irritating that sciatic nerve, right? So, <laughs> I'm not gonna get the biology totally right here, but that tiny muscle, you just look at it, Google it, you know, it's the, the piriformis, it sits right by where the nerve is. So as it shortens and it starts becoming dysfunctional, as it perhaps hypertrophies, it starts like rubbing against that, that nerve. It starts giving you problems. It starts compressing that nerve, right? And then you start feeling it all down your leg. Ah, ah, right? So after sitting all day long, you stand up, and then you're like, oh man, I got this shooting pain down my leg. It has a lot to do. Not all to do, but a lot to do. And I'm trying to aim you in a direction. It has a lot to do with that piriformis muscle being overly active, very hyperactive, very short tonic would be the word. And so part of the reason why that happens is because, uh, number one, that it gets short, it gets tight, but also because your hip extensors are probably really weak, like your glutes. So what we gotta do here is, I'm gonna give you a little, just a little, a few little tips, a few little things that can help you and send you down a rabbit hole so that maybe you can figure this shit out. Uh, the very first thing is we want to start uh, softening, opening up, lengthening that piriformis muscle. And one of the best ways to do that, right, is with a, with a foam roller. All right, so you're gonna do a myofascial release and you're gonna do a stretch. The myofascial release is with a foam roller. You take a foam roller, you put it on the floor, and then you cross your leg over like this and sit on the foam roller. I have my foam roller over there, but I don't feel like getting that on the screen. So imagine there's a foam roller. You wanna sit on it with your leg crossed over like that, right? Boom, and then you lean onto it. And guess what? It's gonna feel like hell. And that means you're doing it right. So as you sit on that, you can kinda like, you know, foam rolling is not so much like you're kneading. You know, people think of it as like uh, when you got a rolling pin and you're kneading dough, right? Your muscle's not like dough. Your muscle has nerves and stuff. So when you sit on it, you wanna think in terms of breathing and allowing the muscle that's like, when, it, when you sit on it, the muscle's like this. Why are you sitting on me, right? Why are you putting all this pressure on me? And then so you sit on it, and you coax it, you breathe. You say, shut up, muscle. It's okay, muscle, go to sleep. And the muscle's gonna be like, because ah, he's caught between your body weight and, and, and a foam roller. And then it's gonna go, okay. Okay, I guess I can relax. And it starts to relax. So the pain, you know it's relaxing because the pain in that, that spot, right, right in your butt here, it'll start to, start to relax, right? As it starts to relax, it's a good thing. It means there's not so much tension in it because that's really what you're doing. You're not kneading it like dough. You're compressing it, right? You're smashing it in a way. You can roll up and down and find spots where it's a little bit more tender, but ultimately you want to sit there and you want to smash that muscle, right? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of great advantage to smashing muscles, putting pressure on muscles, right? That's why that so as so thing works so well, right? The uh, so right, like you're smashing. Or like when I used to show you with the, with the, with the ball, like a basketball, you, you, do, you could do it into your stomach, smash it. So you wanna smash, you wanna sort of smash that muscle. Then, you also wanna stretch that muscle. So one of the ways, 
one of the best ways to stretch that muscle after smashing it. And this is a stretch I do every day, and you'll see why I do it every day. And then you get up on here like this, boom. And you want to sort of lean forward, boom, and I can feel it. Oh, oh, all through. I mean, you might, you know, we like to blame particular muscles, but it's like a series of muscles, right? So all the muscles, they call it uh, anatomy trains. There's a book called Anatomy Trains, like lines of fascia, right? Fascial lines. And it's boom. There's one that like goes from your pinky toe all the way up into here. Boom, you wanna sort of you wanna stretch that. Another way to stretch that is like this. You get something high like this or a table, and you go like this. Ah. Ooh. Right? <laughs> I make noise when I stretch and lift. So you wanna mash it and you want to stretch it. But that's just half the, that's half the situation. That'll help you, and there are others that'll help you too. This is not an all-inclusive video, none of mine are. It's just a dude ranting with his iPad. Um, you want to strengthen the glute, glutes by doing hip extension exercise. Hip extension exercises, right, one of the best hip extension exercises is you get on a bench, eh, a shorter bench than this, typically, but then it's a squeeze your butt. You want to squeeze your gluteus maximus. Squeeze the gluteus maximus. <clears throat> and that'll start strengthening the muscles on the outside of your glutes. The big gluteal muscles, the more superficial ones, because as those grow stronger, the deep proximal muscles will start to kind of relax. Uh, final tip, I think it will help you out quite a bit. A lot of people who have this kind of pain is because they, they sit in a lot, either sitting in traffic or they driving a lot, you know, they're in, that, they're in that hip flexed position a lot, right? It's a hip flexor, it's a hip flex position. And um, what you wanna do is get up off your ass multiple times a day, you know? Get up about three times a day and walk for 10 minutes. 10 minute walk, right? 10 minute walk, 10 minute walk should be the new smoking break, right? Remember back like in the 90s or 80s? Everybody was smoking cigarettes. There was a time when like everybody was smoking cigarettes. And so it was like bu basically built into people's work day was, hey, I'm gonna get up and go have a smoke, right? Well, get up and go have a walk. Get up and have, go have a walk. People should start accepting that like they did smoke breaks in the 80s. I'm going for my, I'm going for my walk. Oh yeah, no problem. Like, I'm going for my cigarette. Oh yeah, no problem. Now you say that, people are like, what? But they didn't, haven't replaced it with anything. So get out there. Take multiple walks. And when you're walking, you know, you can even stretch a little bit while you're walking. Extend your hips, oh, right? And let those legs swing. And I think that's gonna help you get back into the swing of things, dude. Hope that helps, done.